Like real talk, a lot of this music would have got canceled, like if it came out in 2020. You know what I'm saying? Ain't even gonna buy you no chapstick. Ain't gonna buy you a pack of gum, girl. Nothing. That's too close to tricky, man. I'm an instrumental killer. I don't really need a deal. Hey, how the fuck it feel? I've been so cross since birth. They already know beats getting hurt. That's the appeal. You are watching a master at work. Yeah. Hey, man. Say, man, who you know king of the classics like Space Jam. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Ra. Back at it one more time with another banger. We got another big sponsor reaction. Big shouts out to DJ Crystal Clear. He's a real dope chopping screw DJ, man. As most of y'all know, man, we really on the, on the road to 100K, but we also on the road to making this YouTube thing a full-time gig. You feel what I'm saying? following his dreams, push, pushing his positivity. So when y'all get those sponsored reactions, man, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. Never necessary, but always appreciated. With that being said, we about to take a trip to the H Town, rap a lot records. We about to go, you know what I'm saying? Listen to Let A Ho Be A Ho by the Ghetto Boys. I'm expecting some game in there, some harsh, some harsh, harsh game. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes it's necessary, you know? But uh, we gonna get straight to it, man. Big shout out to the H. Let me know where you from. Let me know your top three Ghetto Boys tracks of all time. You know what? Top five. Because they legends, man. All right, Peter Bushwick. Let's see what they talking about. Oh, yeah. The only limitations you face are those that you place upon yourself. So if you got a goal, you got a dream, you got a vision, go out there and get it. You feel what I'm saying? Let's go. Yo, DJ, what's up with your cash business and shit? Oh, that's what the average host see every time she look at a Martin Day man. Ain't that the motherfucking truth? Yeah. And these old fickle minded ass niggas wonder why I hold these them one day and another goofy motherfucker the next. I think it's time you kick some more of that shit, D. Yeah. It seems to be a lot of motherfuckers blind to the fact that a hoe is gonna be just that. And this type of ignorance is the very reason why so many niggas in the goddamn cemetery. Intelligence is on call. You don't treat a hoe like a queen who behaves like a dog. Are you the type who won't put a hoe in front of a trigger? Then use a hoe ass nigga. Goddamn hound, pound for pound. You knew the hoe when she was fucking the whole town. She fucked you and gave your buddies a blow. But your drink ass fell in love with the hoe. Try to change her, make her be an angel. You keep putting your damn life in danger. Front niggas about that slutty ass trampling croak. You gotta let a hoe be a hoe. by 8-Ball and MJG. If y'all rock with the South, man, y'all gotta, gotta be hip to 8-Ball and MJG. Go check that out after this one. Fuck you, though. Every time I see the hoe, she's with a new Negro. She's the kind of hoe that's bound to wear short stuff by ass when your friends come around. The kind of hoe that'll make you cry. The kind of hoe you have to call before you come by. So why you wanna kill when she says no more? You ain't the first to be dumped by a goddamn fool. Crazy motherfuckers fight for the hoe. Stealing for that ass Telling the story now, like he we just chopping it up now. This also another another song that's similar to this is uh Dr. Dre, Nate Dog. What is that called? Oh, explosive. West Coast. If y'all into like, you know what I'm saying, pimp type music, which I'm into, you feel what I'm saying? I I I, I fought with pimp type. That real talk. A lot of this music would have got canceled, like if it came out in 2020. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's too real. We got a lot of simps out here, man. Got a lot, a lot of Sims, man. As they 69 and 80 double cat, I dropped them off at home. God damn, look at this shit. My wallet's gone. The hoes beat me, but I left it alone. And used that shit as a stepping stone. I paid it off the next time I saw the hoe. I just laughed and fucked the ass some more. She licked my ass and sucked my balls. And if I feel right now, I can get them wrong. Hoes get him down. I ain't crying down. 
buying you dinner. Hey yo, if you enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that big red subscribe and that like so you don't miss the next upload. Let's get back to the video. He ain't even gonna buy you no chapstick. He ain't gonna buy you a pack of gum, girl. Nothing. That's too close to tricky, man. You can't get a dime. Why you so cold bloody, bruh? Cause it's a cold game. I already know. But look, man. Ghetto Boys, such a legendary group because you know, they spoke that real. A lot of people talk about NWA saying, you know, after police, whatever, whoop whoop de whoop. And NWA is legendary. Ghetto Boys was like the South, and they took it to another level. It was more, it, it was more to the extreme. It was more, uh, in my opinion, more raw, more uncut, and it had that Southern flavor to it. Had a, the beats was different, the sound was different, but it was just raw, and. Uh, that was a Willie D track, and I'm a big fan of Willie D. My uh favorite track from Bruh is uh hold on, let me pull this up. We might need to do a reaction to this, but uh how do I know that off top? It's a few, it's a few. My internet not gonna work off the off the off the trap phone. You feel me? The burner. Hey, the, I don't mean uh, the track phone, not the trap phone. My bad, I misspoke. But uh yeah, man. Willie D, he he got bars. He's underrated for sure. And he's it, this whole group was raw and they had different pockets. Scarf, Scarface is like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, the he was the most lyrical. You know what I mean? He could paint a picture. He could really out rap a lot of a lot of the people that people consider lyricists. Scarface could do that. Willie D is just that raw, uncut. He got bars too, but he gonna always say how it is, 110 percent. You either gonna rock with it or not, and he don't give a shit regardless. You know what I mean? And Bushwick was just like his. It was like they the three. There's three different sides of rawness. It's like the poet. It's the you know the the raw getting punch you in your face with Willie D, and then you got Bushwick who was like he could paint the picture vividly. Like uh, he was just so grimy and so raw and would just. It's like I can't even explain it. He just would take it there, you know. Like he would take it there. If he was going through something in his life, you would know. Because any detail that crossed his mind, he would put it in the song. No matter how you felt about it, you know. And uh, with this culture that we live in there now, it's like, man, we didn't, everything is sugar-coated and, and, and soft. You know what I mean? And some people really need a dose of that, that raw, that real. It could change your whole life if you out here simping. You know what I'm saying? Acting like a buster and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I enjoy music like this. So shout out to DJ Crystal Clear for the recommendation, man. I appreciate you, bro. And uh, Ghetto Boys Legendary. Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Rod Dope Record. You know what I'm saying? Stop sipping. You feel what I'm saying? Go listen to some 8-Ball and MJG. Go listen to some Pimp C. Do or die. You know what I'm saying? Get your, you know what I mean? You know, you get, you get your game up, man. Right? Get your game up. Right? You know what I'm saying? But, uh, man, look. Positivity y'all way, man. Stay on y'all grind. Keep getting that paper, man. Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Rod. We out. Yiddy. And yeah, we still blazing. Half man, half flame, throw a flow immaculate. Gas mask, trash bags, full of that Cali Kush. Need more cash flow, these boys smoking regular. Claim that they the plug, door man, get your hustle up. Circle of bosses around me, cross cover my juggling.